Israelites. Shalom. Wake up. Some of us are still in a coma. Spiritually asleep. Don't even know it. Born to be kings and priests of the Most High. But because of transgressions, it was scattered throughout all the earth. And we're in our wilderness journey right now. <laughs> Wherever you are, you're in the wilderness. <laughs> and we're being tested every day to walk by faith, to trust in the Lord with all our heart. And he will direct our path. When this truth is brought before a lot of us for the first time, it's something that we can barely imagine. Like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> you crazy, man. We not Israelites. I don't know where you got that from. I know I was like that. Heart is a big pill to swallow. But, you know, the truth is the truth. Most people have a hard time accepting the truth. Most Israelites, during the days of Jesus as he walked the earth before he was crucified and raised again, they didn't believe that he was the Savior. <laughs> he told them, but they didn't believe it. And that's how we are as a people. Truth can be staring us dead in the face, and we're looking at it, and we don't believe. <laughs> I'm telling you today, you are... Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah. That's who you are. That's your identity. We are in the land of our captivity. We are in the wilderness journey. And the only way out is the Lord is going to bring us out. He's going to come and get us. Study the word, study the scriptures to see what, from what I'm saying is true. I know what you've been taught, but you've been taught a lie. <laughs> you've never been told the truth. The truth will make you free. If you believe it, you got to believe it. But if you don't believe it, it won't make you free. Jesus said, I am the son of God. I'm he. He told the woman at the well, I am he, the one, the Messiah, the Christ that should come. I'm he. I'm him. <laughs> she believed and went back and told all those folk. But a lot of people didn't believe. He said, crucify him. He's blaspheming. That's what people say now. You tell them you're a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah. You ain't no Hebrew. <laughs> but they're in a coma. They're still asleep and don't know it. Take the spirit of the Lord to wake people up. Shalom. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord opens your understanding that you may see peace.